All right, so for the first problem, our first section, we are doing area of a triangle slash parallelogram, but really it's just area of a triangle. We've made it so that there's no parallelogram questions in here. And there's one formula you need to know for this. Um, and I'm gonna draw you a triangle. I'm just gonna draw over here because that's where I have space. If you have a triangle that's labeled A, B, C, and you want to calculate the area of this triangle, then the area is equal to one half. Oh, write this formula down, please. One half AB sine capital C. Okay. So let me fix the attendance. Hold on. Okay. So for this triangle, we have the corners A, B, and C all in capital letters. The capital letters represents like the, the corner, the angle, okay? And then these lowercase letters that you see over here for the little a and the little b, those are the sides that are directly across from that corner. So for example, here's the, here, this a is a big A. If you go directly across from it, this is little a, okay? So this entire side is little a. So then that would mean if you go across from capital B, you will get lowercase b over here, representing that side. And then if you go across from capital C, you will get over there, which is little lowercase c, okay? So if you want to find the area of a triangle, you use this formula, which says that, I'm gonna start using some colors. You have a, b, and sine of C, which is this angle. Okay, so if you have two sides and the angle in between it, you can use this formula to calculate the area. So hopefully by now, after I've talked so much, you've gotten the formula written down. And so we can take a look at the problem that's given to us. So it'll just let me zoom out instead of writing. Okay, yeah, my iPad definitely updated. <laughs> it's writing differently. Okay, anyways, it says in triangle TUV, T is 320 inches, U is 360 inches, and angle V is 81. Let's draw that out. So I'm going to draw it over here because I have space here. So in all these problems, I want you to draw the triangle. So just T, U, V. You can label them in any way that you like, as long as you just know that the triangle is labeled TUV. Okay, T is 320 inches. So that little T side, that's across from the capital T vertex. So that would be 320 on the bottom over here. Okay, U, lowercase u, is 360. So that must be the side directly across from capital U, the angle. And I'm going to do this in, I guess, a different color. Um, angle V is 81, so I'm going to put that over here. OK, so all in all, we have two sides and the angle in between it, so we can use our formula now. Our formula for the area is 1 half. I'm writing it right off of that. 1 half, and then the two sides. So I'm going to do 360 times 320. Oh, I'm running out of space, times sine of the angle in between it, times sine of 81. So I have 360, or 1 half times 360 times 320 times sine of 81. Before I plug it into a calculator, are there any questions? Okay, so in order to access my calculator, I'm going to have to um, take away this picture. Does anyone still need to see this picture? Yes, okay. And then I will pause and let you write. All right, let's um, type that in to the calculator. 
So I took a picture of it. Now that will help you remember what to type. So we're going to type one half, then 360, and then 320. And then this is multiplied by sine of 81. Oops, there we go. So I literally just typed what I had as my equation, and you can see it says 56,890.84. So if we want that to the nearest square inch, then I'm going to type 56,891. So I just rounded it. Did I do that correct? No, I missed the 8. 891. There we go. So you just enter in their number, but um, round it to the nearest inch because that's what they said they wanted. Are there any questions on this one? All right, I'm going to submit answer. And we got it right. Let me just do one more with you guys, or one more or two more, depending on what you guys want. Okay. Okay, in triangle RST, T is 59 inches, R is 77, and angle of S is 5 degrees. We're going to find the area of RST to the nearest square inch. Let's draw our triangle out. Here is a triangle. R, S, T. So T is 59 inches. That means that side is 59. And R is 77, which means that side is 77. And angle S is 5 degrees. So this angle that's in between it is 5 degrees. And so from here, we're going to use our formula, which is one half the one of the angles. So I'm just going to do 59 first. It doesn't matter which one goes first. You could do 77 first, 59 first, because when you multiply them, it's still the same thing. And then sine of the angle in between. So one half times 59 times 77 times sine of five degrees. Any questions on here before I type it in? Or anybody need to still see this before I type it in? Give you guys like a few moments to tell me if you need to see it or if you have any questions. Okay. So over here, Let's take that away. We're going to do 1 half 59 times 77 times sine of 5. And it gives me 197.97. We are going to round that to the nearest square inch. So that's 198. Any questions? All right, I'm going to submit answer. Um, I mean, I think this lesson is pretty short, so I'm just going to do one more. <laughs> okay, screenshot. Oh. We have triangle FGH, G is 39, H is 54, and F is 30. Four, wait, did I read that right? Yeah, 39, 54, and 34. We're going to find the area to the nearest square centimeter. Just draw some generic triangle, label it F, G, H. G is 39, so that angle or that side length is 39. That's supposed to say centimeters. And then H is 54 centimeters, so go across from the letter H. This is 54 centimeters. And angle F is 34, so that's right over here. That's 34 degrees. And so when we calculate the area, we have one half, one of the sides, the other side, times sine of the angle in the middle. So just like that. And I'll give you guys a little bit of time to write. Okay. 
Okay, so we have one half 39, 54 times sine of 34. And that gives us 588.8. So we're going to round that to the nearest square centimeter, as the instructions say, and say 589. So any questions on that one? Okay, submitting answer. And then let's do the next section.